Hey everyone, Nicole here, and I'm gonna show you how to use the Creative Control Preset Pack from the Nicole Z Store. I have it installed over here in my presets panel. As you can see, there are quite a few presets in this preset pack. There are a total of 109 presets in the Lightroom 5 preset pack. If you have Lightroom 4, you have the same amount of presets, but the radial gradient presets won't do anything because that's a feature that's only in Lightroom 5. If you're using Photoshop, then you don't have any of the gradient presets at all. So that's gonna knock those down just a few. The gradient presets won't save inside of the Photoshop Adobe Camera Raw presets. So that's why they're not included there. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and process this photo. I'm gonna drop this down so we can see just a little bit more. And I'm also gonna show the navigator. I'm using a screen resolution that's a little smaller than my normal resolution. So I would normally be able to see more in the presets panel. But the great thing about having the navigator panel opened up is that you can actually see those changes as you're just hovering over those presets. The way that the Creative Control Preset Pack works is you go through each category over here on the left and you select which one you want to apply to your image. And each of these categories, I'll go ahead and start out in the tone curve. And I'm also gonna open up the tone curve panel, just to make sure that's the only one that's opened here so you can see. Everything that I click in here is only going to affect the panel that it's uh, connected to here. So this is the tone curve section, so it's only going to affect the tone curve panel. So I can hover over them, I can click on them if I like, just to try different ones out. It doesn't matter what I do, it's only going to affect that one panel, so I don't need to use the undo key. In fact, if I get to a point that I'm not quite sure if I even want to use a tone curve adjustment or any of them, all you have to do is just click on this top one, the category name, and it's going to reset that specific panel. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply one. I'm gonna apply contrast, then I'm just gonna kind of scroll through and see what else I can find. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna warm it up a little bit with the uh, radial gradient vertical warmth. I might even see if I want to work with a black and white. Let me hover over some and see if there's any I like. No, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and not use a black and white. Now, if I wanted to reset the black and white, I would click that. But if I wanna go back to color, I just need to go down to the color tab and click color. It's not going to make any changes from any of these color adjustments. It's going to reset that panel and switch it back to color instead of black and white. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this one off with a split toning. Let's see which one, I'll go ahead and use softly. Might even add a vignette. Let's go down here and see what I got. Maybe a dark faded. Okay, that's nice. So I went from a before photo to an after photo just by clicking on four of those presets. And I could even go back and, and make changes if I wanted to after the fact. I don't have to be set with this one thing. And also, if I really like this preset, I'm going to save it as uh, my own settings. So I'm just gonna click that plus button at the top of the presets panel. I'll just title this Pottery. I'll just keep it under User Presets. You can go ahead and create a new folder if you like. I'm gonna check None because I wanna make sure that I'm only affecting those specific things that I changed. So I know I did Tone Curve and Split Toning, I added a Post Crop Vignette, and I think I had that Radial Filter in there as well. And then I'll just go ahead and create that. So now I have that preset down there at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and do these steps on another photo. Let's go ahead and just uh, walk this one through real quickly. I almost always start off by adjusting the tone curve. So I'm just gonna hover over the ones until I see one I like. And I think I'm gonna like that overexposed one the best. I'm gonna go back up to those radial gradients. They're kind of fun to work with. And I'm liking this vignette blur, so I'll go ahead with that one. And then I think I wanna make some color changes and pop some of those blues in the background. So I'll go into the color section and I know I have a bold and blue landscape pop. I'm gonna go with ocean blue. I like that one the best. And now if for some reason I didn't like what I have going on here and I wanted to start from scratch, scroll all the way to the top, click that reset all button and it takes you back to your before image and it erases all of those changes that you made with any of the creative control presets. I'm actually gonna undo that because I do like those changes that I made. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna add a vignette to finish it off. 
And I'll just go with dark corners. Okay, real quickly, I'm just gonna do one more, but I wanna show you another way that you can use the Creative Control preset. You don't have to use it from start to finish. You can actually use it as a complement to other presets. I'll show you how. I'm gonna go into my Nicolzi Cross Process preset pack. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna add the crayon preset. Now I like what it's doing. A lot of the tones are really nice. The color's a little too intense for my taste. So I'm gonna go back up to the split tone section and see if there's another split toning that I like a little bit better. And I think at the beginning, I really like this cool shade one. So I click on that. And I would like a little bit harsher vignette. So I'm going to, let's see, there was one there, it was really subtle. I just did that by clicking on the vignette category, which reset the original vignette. And I'll just scroll through and see if there's one in here that I like a little bit more. And dark soft, that's really nice. And I'll go ahead and just toggle that before and after. And I did that just by adding a preset and then adjusting it using the Creative Control Preset Pack.